Hi, how are you? And welcome to Wednesday Park Yoga, 10 a.m. Wickham Park, Melbourne, Florida, every Wednesday. Oh, this is gonna be so great. Healthy breath. So we get so consumed with losing weight. We get so consumed of, of stuff that we think we need to do that we get so overwhelmed with it in our mind that we forget the basics. So basically, we are gonna start off with healthy breath you're going to just breathe and believe that your body is wonderful in the way it is spiritually mentally physically the way it's supposed to be that's right now it doesn't mean you don't want to improve upon it we'll get to that but right now just breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. Feel that? That simple energy transfers energy up into your brain to let you know that, hey, this is gonna be great year. This is gonna be the beginning of something special. Yoga, living life, loving it to the fullest. Let's get started. Like different doctors, different dentists, every yoga class is different. Our specifically and what we teach is spirituality in the body. So it's the beginning of the year, we're all setting our goals, and what do we do? We, we, most of the goals are I wanna lose weight or I wanna tone up, right? I want you to forget about that. I want you to be happy in this body right here and right now. Because when I needed to lose weight, when I wanted to thin down and get those nice, strong, definition muscles, I had to be happy with the body that I had right here and right now. So with that, I just started to like me more. And what I'm realizing is there's a psychology behind it. And that psychology is we feel less stressed in our minds, so we feel less stressed in our body. So we're gonna work on breath work. For now, we're gonna practice fire breath. Fire breath is, yes, a energy building breath, uh, warming breath, but it also helps increase the metabolism, which helps us lose weight. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Yoga Meditation, 10 a.m. in Wickham Park. My name is Athena, for those of you who do not know me. For now, I'm just gonna ask you to cup your hands, bring your thumbs together, sit cross-legged. You can sit on your pillow. Sometimes this erects the spine and it makes your seated position feel better. In this circle of energy that we're creating, I want you to imagine as we're breathing in, the energy going counterclockwise, sweeping away those unserving thoughts. So for a moment, we're gonna sit here, close our eyes, sit nice and tall, extend the neck so it's reaching the crown of the head towards the sky on the inhale. And on the exhale, go ahead and drop your shoulders and relax your chest. Good. Now we're going to do a counted breath so we can increase that lung capacity, increase your energy. Inhale one, two, three. Hold the breath. And then slowly exhale, three, two, one. Bring the belly button, the spine, squeeze out all the air and hold. Inhale, one, two, three, hold. So you're feeling the tension in the hold. You're feeling the tightness. Now slowly exhale, three, two, one. Drop your shoulders, feel your body melting into the earth, Jeannie. Cindy, lift up your chest as you inhale. Lift up your chin just a little bit so you're feeling that extension in your spine as you breathe in and hold the breath. And slowly exhale. Three, two, one. Press the belly button to spine. Breathe out all the air and hold it for three seconds. Ready? Good, now I want you to feel that energy 
when we hold our hand on the heart and our hand on the solar plex. Relax the elbows to the side. Feel the quietness in your body. Feel the energy from your palms seeping into your mind. Every bone, every muscle, every ligament is feeling a healing white light of energy. You're feeding your body beautiful love. So think to yourself a positive mantra, something very simple that we don't realize we need to say to ourselves all the time. Repeat in your mind's eye after me, I love you. I love you. I love you. Ooh, did you notice that? The shoulders, the elbows kept dropping and dropping. Ooh, magical. Namaste. Now with the eyes still closed because we want to concentrate on this fire energy breath. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Breathe out all the way. Now we're going to breathe in just a quarter of the way and then we're going to do rapid accessions through the nose with the mouth closed feeling our energy in our body. Ready? Go. <laughs> Inhale deep, exhale relax. Now the head and the body is a little bit wobbly. Go ahead and open the eyes because we just did a lot of energy building up and we're going, ooh, psychedelic time. And this is wonderful. So with the hands on the heart and the hands on the solar plex, we're gonna open them up nice and wide in a big balloon breath, inhale. Spread the fingers wide, raise them up just a little bit past the shoulders, chin up, and then exhale, bring the hand back to the heart, back to the solar plex. Breathe in. Open up that big balloon breath, that wonderful energy. Nice big smile. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, open up the arms. Spread the fingers wide, lift the chin up. Press the chest up, inhale just a little bit. And then slowly exhale, hands to heart, hands to belly. And now we're gonna close our eyes again because we're gonna feel the energy flowing inside of us. So I'm gonna give you a visualization. Visualize yourself in front of a mirror smiling at yourself because we wake up every morning we look in the mirror we fix our hair we fix our makeup whatever it is just smile at yourself and repeat those words that positive mantra in the mind looking at yourself in the mirror I love you I love you I love you. Now, did you feel your hands warm up? Did you feel that wonderful sensation or tingliness in the palms? If not, that's okay, but if so, that's your intuition. Letting your body know you're headed in the right direction. It's beautiful. Good, now we're really gonna warm up the body in a strength building exercise. We're gonna take the hands and we're gonna come from a seated position to a plank position. And in this plank position, we can walk the hands forward past the shoulders if the wrists get too cranky. If you wanna build strength in those wrists and get them nice and strong, put them directly underneath your shoulder. Spread the fingers wide, dig them into the yoga mat. So you know you have two choices to walk your fingers forward if it gets too much, but we're, we're gonna have a choice with the knees as well. One knee, two knees or both knees down. When we're in our plank, whichever position you choose, we give you different variations. Squeeze the abdominal in, press the shoulders up and the spine towards the sky and drop the chin into the chest. Remember, you can always have one knee down, you can have two knees down. We're here for 
eight breaths. Breathe through the shakiness. Build that energy in your body. See that core lighting up in a visualization of healing white light spread throughout your body. This energy of light and that I love you's will spread throughout your body. And those I love you's are going to heal your mind and letting your body know that it's beautiful, that it's loving, that it's whole, and that it's strong. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Stretch the arms up. Breathe out. Belly button to spine. Hold. Bring the knees down and slowly come into a traditional child's pose. Tucking the knees underneath and walking the arms forward. Now I'm going to give you a different suggestion in this as well. With the arms forward, you get a really big tug in the biceps. You can bring the arms back towards the knee so it's not so much. You can tuck the toes under if the lower back and the knees are really cranky. You can open up your knees wider. You can have your derriere in the air a little bit more. We're here for six more breaths. Allow your body to fold forward and relax into it. Meditate into this. Give yourself the I love you mantras. Breathe into that mantra of your mind. Slow inhales and slow exhales. Two more deep, slow breaths. Good, now we're slowly gonna come up and do a Cobra Child's Pulse Flow. Now, Cobra's not fun in some of us because our backs get really cranky, especially mine. So again, we're gonna honor our body. So we're on our hands and knees. We're coming down to the belly. Our elbows are to our sides. And we're gonna go really nice and slow. We're going to use the power of our hips to stretch and lift our body up, breathing in and then slowly coming down, dropping the chin to the chin, to the yoga blanket and dropping the forehead and relaxing. Good, now we're gonna flow like that for seven more times, total of eight. Breathing in, coming up and try to use your abdominal instead of the arms as much as possible and then breathing out, coming down. So this is wonderful because you get to flow at your own pace the yoga teacher is just giving you your guidance and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And close your eyes like Cindy's doing. She's really feeling that energy flow through her body. Concentrate on the glutes coming and engaging as you come up. And relaxing your body as you come down. Inhale up. Nice big breath. Exhale down. Four more times. Two more times. So what we're really doing is strengthening that lower back. We say, Athena, my back is really, really cranky. That's okay, come into child's pose. One more time, let's hold it up. Ready, one, two, three. Let's come down, let's rest our forehead to the mat. Relax the glutes, relax the legs. One deep breath in. 
And this time when we come into child's pose to counter that cranky lower back, we're going to open up our knees wide. Open up the knees wide. Come down. And you're coming down as low as you can. Remember, wherever your body's at is perfect. This is your class. This is not mine. It's not his or hers. It's yours. And we're going to come up into a downward dog flow. We're only going to be up here for eight breaths, eight times. If it's too much, then come down off your wrist back to child's pose. Ready? Come up. We're in tabletop. Adjust your hands. Adjust your legs and feet. Tuck your toes under. Pop up the derriere. Walk the toes forward. Push back. Exhale. On the inhale, we're going to slightly come into a, a plank. And on the exhale, we're going to back. So we're waking up the body gently instead of really fast. Because in this class, really fast doesn't work. We like those gentle flows. Allowing us to decide if it's too much on the arms to come down. Or do the flow for four more times to build that extra strength in your muscles. In your mind. Two more times. Inhaling slight plank. Exhaling down dog. Ooh, that feels good in the Achilles heels and the calves. Yes. Walking the feet to the hands. Taking your time. When you walk your feet to your hands, grab your elbows and just hang here. Get that nice stretch in the back of the knees, the back of the legs, because when we come up and do sun salutations really nice and slow, we're going to need that nice back stretch. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax the legs. Slightly bend the knees. Feel that beautiful reach all the way. The elbows want to touch the earth on the exhale. Yeah. Now, when we come up, we're going to come up nice and slow, pressing the hips forward and coming to a slight back bend. Pray your hands to heart in mountain. Slowly breathe in. Open up the arms. Press the hips forward. Ooh, that feels good. Arms are going to come above the head. Reach, reach, reach back. Bring the hands together back. And then we're going to exhale, hands to heart, prayer mountain. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good energy. Relax the shoulders. Relax the body. And for a moment here, we like to take these moments to feel the energy relax the body. To tune in and tap on with us being aware that our feet are touching the earth and that our body is grounding. And now we open our eyes, come to the front of the mat or front of the blanket. We're going to come back on an inhale, bringing the arms back again. Slight back bend, squeeze the glutes and squeeze the thighs in. Hold it up here. We can either look up or look down. Sometimes when we look up, we get a little bit too wobbly. So you got two options. And now we're going to swan dive down nice and slow. Exhale. Swan dive down. The hands are going to come to the upper thighs. We're going to bend at the waist. We're going to straighten out the elbows. Breathe in. Tuck the chin in. Breathe out. Bend the elbows. Allow the body to fall forward as far as it'll go. Good. Coming up into a low lunge. Hands are framing the feet on the yoga mat. We're stepping back with the left foot, left knee down. We're looking forward for a focal point in the grass to help balance our body. And then we're going to slowly come up to that low lunge. 
taking our time, pressing our hips forward. Inhale, connect the hands together above the head. And once the hands touch, inhale again, fingertips towards the sky, keep staring at your balancing point. And then exhale, open up the swan dive arms down, bending forward over that right knee. Now the feet, the hands are framing the right foot. Step the right knee back, come into a plank pose. Nice plank pose. Inhale in this plank. And exhale into down dog, walking the feet forward a little bit, pushing the derriere back. And then we're going to do like a push up. Coming back to plank, bringing the derriere down, excuse me, the hips down, and up into half. Full cobra, chin up, chest up. Exhale. Coming to our modified plank, knees down, or full plank. Inhale. And then exhale. Walking the feet forward to down dog. Good. Now we're stepping forward with the left foot. Step forward with the left foot. Right knee down. Slowly adjust the body. Find your focal point of balance. And then come up. Lunge on the left side. We're staring at our focal point. Bringing the hands up. Connect together above the head. Reach with the chest up. Breathe in once again. Feel that strength building in your arms. And then when you're ready, swan dive arms down, framing the left knee. Our hands are framing the left knee. We're going to use the right derriere to come back, butt cheek towards the right heel, and our momentum is gonna come forward into a standing forward bend. Ready? Hop forward into standing forward bend. Hands on mat or hands on chin. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, straighten out the elbows, straighten out the chin into the chest, really the nice stretch on back of the occipital ridge, and then exhale, bend the elbows, fall forward a little bit more, once more time. Good. Cross the arms in your forward bend. Inhale, we're slowly going to come up, open the arms up, and touch the hands together above the head, and then come into prayer. Ready? Come up nice and slow, press the hips forward. Hands touch above the head. Oh, that feels good. Yes, 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 yes. Inhale again here. And then exhale, hands to heart. And then once again, for a moment, we're going to catch our breath. We're going to feel that energy. Press the thumbs into the sternum and just hold your body here. Good. Look down at the feet. We're going to wide legged stance into five pointed star. Wide leg stance, toys, toes are pointing outward and the arms are going to point outward. Inhale, bring the shoulder blades together. Exhale, we're going to come into a goddess, bending the knees and bending the elbows at the same time, keeping the arms up towards the shoulders. Nice lower. Press your hips forward a little bit so you can feel that nice stretch. Now we're going to flow. Inhale, straighten up to five-pointed star. Nice. There we go. Exhale. Come back down. Inhale up. Chest up. Hips forward. Squeeze the butt cheeks. Exhale. Come back down. Five more times. Up. And down. Find your focal point to stare to keep that nice balance in your body. Breathe in up. Breathe out down. In up. Down. Two more. We're building that nice, strong arms. Breathe in. 
Shoulder blades together. Open those arms up. You can do it. You can do it. Exhale, goddess. Goddess, hold it. Hold it. You can do it. You can do it. Exhale, belly button to spine. Squeeze out all the air. Ready? Hold. Drop those arms. <laughs> Bring the feet back together and just swing the arms from side to side, giving those arms a break. Thank you, body, for what you did for me. I love you so much. Doing what our body feels right. Roma's doing a forward bend to stretch her back out. That's what she needs in her body. We want to point that out because we want you to do what your body needs to do. Taking the arms and bringing the left arm back, stretching it all the way back. So we're doing real big windmills and then the right arm all the way back. So we get a nice shoulder roll, that rotator cuff, the trapezius muscles in the back, the neck muscles, and you're doing it at your own pace because it feels good just flowing and bringing this wonderful energy around. This is your universe. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. One more time on the left and then the right, and then we'll go forward. A nice yoga dance here. Going backwards with the left arm and then bringing it up and reaching forward, really separating that shoulder blade and doing the same thing with the right. Reach. Big swimming in the ocean, swimming in the universe. One more time on the left and right. And now the arms are going to come back. Open up wide, press the hips forward, inhale deep. You can have your head up or your head down. And this time when we exhale, we're gonna lace the fingers behind the back of the head. So when you lace the fingers behind the back of the head, you have a nice stable arm stance here. The elbows are opened up wide. On the inhale, we're gonna breathe in chest forward, hips forward, chin up. On the exhale, we're just gonna relax the shoulders because it feels so good to relax, yay. Inhale, open up. Nice big grin. That's it, Sydney. Good. Exhale, relax. And a reach back. Grin nice and wide. Yes, 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 yes. This feels good. Exhale, relax. Five more at your own pace. Feeling that this is your class and your time and your space right here and right now. Feel that lift in your body, Keith. Feel that strength. And then relax into that strength, into your power. One more time, breathe in. Open up the elbows, press the hips forward, engage the glutes and thighs. Hold. On the exhale, relax the shoulders, unlace the fingers, and then slowly let the arms fall down. And we're gonna swing again. Swinging the arms from side to side, getting ready any heavy sensation. Letting all those unserving feelings go in your body, in your mind, feeling free in the body. Take your time and slow it down. And then we stop into the center we look down at our feet. We bring our feet in a little bit closer, hip width apart, because we're going to slide our hands down our legs. And when we slide our hands down our legs, the left hand is going to come to the right shin. 
and the right hand is going to come to the sky and we're going to use resistance of that left hand to really open our right arm up and back and then we're slowly going to exhale that right arm down to the left shin and then bring left arm up all the way up and back now that you have the motion of it flow at your own pace feel the energy lift you up as you inhale and that arm comes back you feel it in your back in your legs in your arms the arms are probably heavy right now they're probably getting a little bit tired you're gonna have drink lots of water afterwards Take your time floating from side to side. If your head gets a little wobbly, you can always come down to the yoga mat and do whatever your body's telling you to do. Three more times on each side. Take your time to really, when that arm's up in the air, really stretch it all the way back. One more time on each side. And then meet me in a hanging position, forward bend. Grabbing the elbows once again. When we grab the elbows, it's like we giving our back permission to fall forward a little bit more and a little bit more. Straighten out the legs as much as possible to get that extra stretch. Breathe in. On the exhale, we're going to come tabletop to the yoga mat, hands and knees. Tabletop to the yoga mat. Digging the fingers into the yoga mat, yoga blanket, straighten out the left leg all the way hip height. Tuck the toes under the left leg. We're gonna bring that forehead to knee, really strengthen those legs. Ready? Slowly bring the left knee into the forehead, tucking the chin in. Inhale, and let's stretch it out, exhale. Good. Three more times on this side. Hold it out this last time. Breathe in. And then the slow breath out brings that left knee down and we switch sides. Now, once again, we can walk the wrists forward if they're getting a little cranky or keep them underneath the shoulders and dig the fingers into the yoga mat to bring more strength into it. Lift, tuck your toes on your left foot and then straighten out your right leg. Tuck the toes under and then slowly float right knee to forehead and then straighten it out inhale and then exhale nice everyone good in out in out Doing that one more time, forehead to knee on the inhale. And on the exhale, breathe out, hold it. One, two, three. Slowly bring the knee down. We're gonna to come to hero's pose to stretch out those thighs and relieve the pressure on our wrists and our legs. So we're in hero's pose right now. Close the eyes for just a moment again. Those thighs is a deep stretch in hero's pose. So tuck the toes under, stand up on your knees a little bit if this is too much. We're only here for two more breaths. We're just taking that time with breath to center our bodies. Inhale deep. Exhale, relax. Deep, inhale. Slow, slow, keep inhaling. Hold that tightness in your body. 
Feel the tension. Now slowly exhale and let that tension dissolve and relax. And you feel right again. You feel more centered now. Coming to hands and knees once again, we're doing the cat cow. Really stretching up that spine, tucking the toes under, knees hip width apart. Remember the hands can be directly underneath the shoulders or forward. Tuck the chin in, really stretch the spine towards the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly come up. And when the chin comes up, put that derriere in the air. Oh gosh, that feels good. My lower back was cranky. Now we're gonna float seven more times. Take your time in your flow. Close your eyes to concentrate on that vertebra opening up one at a time. Now we're going to hold our chin up. Derriere in the air, chin in the air, hold the position, breathe in. Exhale, tuck the chin in, stretch the spine towards the sky. Really lift those shoulder blades in the spine towards the sky so you feel that separation. Now breathe out all the air and hold. Ready? Hold. Relax, neutral spine. Oh, that felt good. Slowly roll into the derriere. We're done with our arm strength. Woohoo! Hello! Lovely to see you, sweetie. Doing some nice ab stuff. Coming down to the elbows. Spread the fingers wide, palms towards the yoga mat, yoga blanket. Bring the knees into the chest. We're just going to pedal the left and the right bringing the toes towards the heels to feel that extension in the Achilles heels. Now you can do it up high, you can do it down low, you can do one leg, you can do two legs, you decide. We're just starting that building strength in your abdominal, which is good. Because what happens when we do that? We're bringing breath into the gut area. It heals the gut area in every way that we want it to. 15 more seconds. Here's the tricky part. We're gonna hold it out there. Both legs, hold it out. Even if you have to go up, hold it out as long as you can, breathe in. Bend those knees if you have to. We're here for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Oh, that felt good. Good job, everyone. Nice. Good. Now, all the way on the back. This is our favorite position on the back. Because we bring our knees into our chest. Nicole, just open your knees up wide. You have that wonderful... baby inside of you. Stretch it out. This is a good lower back stretch, bringing this knees open up wide. Now slowly relax and exhale the feet to the surface. Bring the hands and lace them behind the back of the neck. You're going to drop your knees to the left side and windshield wiper and feel that nice stretch in the right hip. And then you're going to come up and drop them to the right side. Take your time as you do that. You're going to feel that nice stretch, that nice opening. Relax. 
We're doing this for about four more times on each side. Inhaling when the knees come up, exhaling when the knees come down. Two more times on each side. And whatever side you're on right now, hang out. Drop those knees to that side. Let the legs relax. Let that hip open up. Bring the energy of light into your hands. Breathe in through all the way down your arms, your elbows, your shoulders. Exhale down the spine, all the way to the hips, the legs, the feet. And bring the knees up and drop the knees to the other side. Get that nice stretch. Now, if your arms up behind the back, if your arms behind the back of the head are getting tingly, then release them and bring them down. Inhale, exhale. That's it, feel those hips drop. Trust your body to release the tension in your back and drop those legs a little bit more to the floor. Bringing the knees to center, all the way up. Coming into a bridge pose, bring the hands down by the side, palms facing down. On this bridge, we're gonna start out in traditional bridge, bringing the hips up towards the sky, feeling that strength building in the legs and lower back, and slowly coming down, and doing that three more times. Up, inhaling, down, exhaling. Challenge yourself by seeing how far and how much of a lift you can give your hips. And on this last one, we're just going to hold it up here for three seconds. One, two, three, and bring it back down. Now we're going to do that with one leg. Left leg up straight towards the sky. Toes on the left leg are pointing towards the knee. Inhale, use the strength of your right leg to lift you up towards the sky and then bring it back down. Oh, that's nice. Three more times, up and down. Lift and down. Up, hold it. Slowly come down, release that left foot to the surface. A nice breath break, breathing in slowly. Breathing out. Last exercise on this side, inhale. Right leg up, toes pointing towards the knee, breathing in, lifting it up. Breathing out, relaxing, bringing it down. Up. And down. Up. Down. One more time. Lift up, hold it up here for three, two, one. Bring that right leg down. The knees are up towards the sky. I'm going to share with you two different 
leg positions that we're going to do in our meditation. So the first one is kickstand. Your knees are together and your feet are pointing out wide. That's a nice lower back flatter against your the surface feeling in your body. Or you can take your pillow and place your pillow either underneath your neck or on the feet on top of the pillow, which lift up the hips. You have an eye pillow on your yoga blanket. This eye pillow helps shut out the light, which helps for a deeper relaxation. If you have just joined us, the eye pillows are in that beige heart-shaped bag with the blue handle. When you place your eye pillow over the eyes, place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. Relax your elbows to the yoga blanket, yoga mat. We'll go over this again. Breathe in deep. Breathe out in a relaxing, peaceful, calming breath. Good. You either have your feet flat on the surface, your knees are together and your feet are out wide in kickstand with your eye pillow on, your hand on your heart, your hand on your solar plex. Or you have your feet together and your knees open up wide to stretch out the groin, which is a deep stressful area. And when we stretch out the groin area, we leave that area to in a stretch, you strengthen your body as well. We're going to tune in first to our breath because our breath is sacred. Our breath is a healing power that we want to give our bodies. And at the beginning of class, we talked about this whole month is about losing weight. Everybody's very conscious of their bodies and what they're eating and drinking, and that is an excellent thing to be, but I want you to be happy with your body now. We said the I love yous. So in this inhale and exhalation, we're going to repeat the mantra in our mind. Inhale. Hold the breath for that quantum healing breath. Exhale. Say in your mind's eye, I love you. I love you. I love you. Good. Now press the back of your neck into the surface of the yoga blanket. Press, press, press. And now relax the body. Good. We want to make sure that your cervical spine, the top part of your spine is relaxed and as flat as it could be. Now just breathe normal and notice the motion of the hands on the body lifting on your inhalation and dropping on your exhalation. Now we all have monkey minds and those monkey minds are telling us that I need to lose weight. I've got flabby arms. I got a flabby butt. I don't like my legs. They're scarred. There's always something that we pick out on our bodies that we don't like about ourselves. And that's okay. Those mind, that mind energy is always going to be there, but you're going to learn in your mind to change that for the positive. As soon as you catch yourself saying those things about your body, you're going to turn it around. You can either say the I love you's or that you can say I appreciate you. I appreciate the body and what it does. I appreciate you for drinking enough water, eating healthier. I appreciate you for going for that walk each day. 
simply tell your body, I really am so grateful for you. See yourself in the visualization in the mirror, saying that to yourself, saying that to your body. It is psychologically proven that if we love ourselves more, a little bit more and more each day, the anxiety level in our bodies decrease, the stress goes bye-bye, we start to feel more happier in our lives because we're grateful for the things that we do rather than pointing out the things in our lives that we don't do. And again, it's still going to happen. I do the same thing to myself, but I catch myself. I catch myself looking at my body oh my butt is so flabby oh my goodness and then I catch myself no you can do something about it or you can keep complaining about it but that's not going to get you to feeling good about you and I'm telling my mind this Breathe in slowly. And when you breathe out, start to hug your elbows to your body a little bit more, squeezing your body on the exhale. And now relax the arms. That self-hug is important. Doesn't it feel good when someone hugs you and holds you for a long period of time? See that in your visualization. See the one person that you love to hold, I'm visualizing my mummy. Sometimes I just want to give her a pat hug, but she, she holds me to her and she doesn't let me let go. So she gives me this wonderful healing hug and I just kind of all of a sudden give up and sink into her. Feel that sinking in feeling. And sometimes we need to hear those words, even if it's from a stranger. Keith, you are strong. Roma, you are beautiful. Nicole, you are loved. Etta, you have a beautiful smile. Lori, I love your laugh. Cindy, you look so pretty today. Jeannie, your smile brightens the wor world. Share your enthusiasm makes my day.
Lynn, you are so special. So special to me and to everyone in your life. Breathe in deep. Feel that in your muscles, bones, and ligaments. Breathe out, relax into it. On the next inhale, we're slowly going to bring the knees up into the chest, the hands to the knees, and squeeze them into the chest. Nicole, obviously, to the side. <laughs> Loving that baby, how special you are. And then slowly, we're going to roll over onto the side. The eye pillow is going to fall off, and we're going to make our way up to a seated position. Ooh, that felt good. Good energy. Lacing the fingers, stretching them forward, getting that nice stretch, tucking the chin into the chest. Inhale here, really separate the shoulder blades. And then on the exhale, bringing the hands to the heart. Press the thumbs into the sternum, relax the shoulders a little bit so you feel the elbows hugging the rib cage. Close the eyes for just a moment to feel your body lifted up and lighter and happier just by saying the I love you's to yourself and the positive mantras. Breathe in. Feel your strength in each breath. And when you breathe out, feel like you're centered. You're ready to start the day, the week, the year. This is your year to shine bright in every single way. Namaste.